All right, we're, we're, we're doing it. This, everybody, today is going to be where we're going to, wait, wait, online workshop one. This is where we cover the video lessons one to four in the comedy module. Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm Judy Carter. Oh, I'm excited. This is kind of a different kind of webinar because, uh, excuse me, one second. Uh, put your clothes on. You're almost going to be on. We have a comedy guest. Um, I don't know if you if if you know him. He's really really popular. Um, he wrote a book almost as famous as my book. Um, almost, but that says a lot on improv. So because we're going to be doing some improving some material today in this uh, creation class. Uh, I'm really excited uh, for you to all meet him. So why not? Let's not waste any time. I want to introduce to you, I met this guy back in and in Los Angeles when the comedy scene was really popping in the 80s. And he was in this group called Off the Wall. It was really famous. Always in the audience was uh, very uh, with celebrities and everything because uh, everybody wanted to go to the show. And he was uh, one of the founding fathers, I guess you would call it, of Off the Wall. He wrote a book called, what was that book? Improv, he wrote a book, Improv Comedy. Boy, that was a tough one to remember. You know, really long words. Sorry, everybody, this is terrible. And he's here, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Goldberg. Here he is. Wheel on over here, Andy. Come on, don't be shy. Come on, come on in. Come on in to the webinar. Whoa. There you go. All Hi, right. Judy. Don't hurt yourself on thanks the brick for, wall. Thanks for having me. All right, well, we have- Sorry about uh, my eye. Uh, oh, oh, that's right, makeup. <laughs> All right. How was the massage in your the, in the green the room? The massage decked me right before I came on. I don't ah, know what that was about. I hate that. Make a new choice. I will. The masseuse uh, kissed me so hard <laughs> that my eye popped. <laughs> new choice. <laughs> uh, I did this to myself because I have no self-esteem. There we go. All right. So <laughs> Andy just taught us one of the most major. Um, um, lessons of comedy is that there's always a new choice a lot of people you know they get like a punchline and they go this is it and they don't realize if you're gonna do even comedy professionally you're gonna go come up with something else come up with something else come up with something else I and I just read yesterday uh, about Del Close who was one of the real founding fathers of improv uh, back from Second City and stuff that he had a third choice theory that your third choice is your best choice Really? Because the first choice everybody thinks of, and the second choice, uh, I forget what he said about the second choice, but. <laughs> Who cares about yeah. second choice? The so third it's choice, you know. The, th the third choice is that. And I know friends who, uh, 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 do you know Rob Lonerstein? He's a former student, he's now an executive producer, he's written a lot of TV shows, okay. um, a sitcom, a sitcom mm -hmm. right? And sometimes, uh, he's there um, around the table. It's like, no, something else. No, something else. No, and they're like, they're going like, our star says this. Now we need a funny retort. No, funnier. No, something else. No, go in a different direction. And they will stick on that line and for like a long time. And 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 then they decide on something. And go, no, let's find something else. So we really have to get over ourselves when we're writing comedy because uh, I think amateurs will go, oh, I'm not that funny and quit. And I, isn't there anything that's the difference between professionals and amateurs? That they're willing to sit in the chair uh, <laughs> until they finally come up with something funny? Is that what you mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it's no, not, I think so. It's not like... Sometimes it's not that easy. I mean, people think that, you know, it just pours out, but it doesn't. Yeah, like, remember that Dick Van Dyke show? Do you guys, okay, uh, go and chat and tell me, like, um, have you, do you know what Dick Van Dyke is, so we won't be like boring you with things that you don't know about. Do you guys know what the Dick Van Dyke show, and have you ever heard of it or watched it? It was where they had these writers with Dick Van Dyke and Eddie and Buddy, and they'd go like, everything they said was funny. Yeah. And I think people <laughs> assumed that when you, and then they went to lunch, and then they were really <laughs> funny at lunch, and then they came back, worked a little bit, but it was like everything they said was just perfect and was typed out, and that was that. And um, and I think people got 
<laughs> like comedy is not really um, interesting when people are writing it, is it? You know? The, the actual writing? Yeah. No, no, a horrible process. Horrible. Yeah, but, but you know, the end result, obviously, is a lot of fun for the viewer or the reader. Yeah, that's it. Rosemary uh, Joy was just saying, yeah, Carl Reiner. By the way, tonight I'm going to see Carl Reiner. You um, are. It's not my date. Oh, okay. I, I love are, Carl Reiner. Are, are you going to Mel Brooks' 90th birthday party? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. No, Annie Reiner, it's his daughter, oh, is singing at yeah. Catalina Club. Oh, I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. you want to come? It's not, uh, I don't think I... All right. But I'll, I'll find out. All right. Well, anyway, I'm leaving at 7. So here we go. All right, everybody. We're going to do these things and... Uh, uh, Andy's here, going to help coach and see what we can do, and we're going to go through these comedy formulas. Okay, great. And uh, have some Hope fun. I'll learn something. Oh yeah! So we have here Tina and Michelle, Joy, Jerome, and awesome Angie. Uh, so you guys, everybody, put up your hand so I know you know how to work this. And Joy, you got your hand up. See if you can all find where the hand thing is. And uh, there, Jerome, you got it. Joy, all right, everybody, uh, there you go. Okay, fantastic. So if you want to volunteer, I'm going to ask. This is this session is only as fun as how many people volunteer. So let's just, let's just take it away. Okay, so we're going to go, and we're going to go here to how many formulas that work. Now, first we're going to start with this formula is, now Andy is just seeing this for the first time, so fresh eye. Uh, this is where you make fun of yourself, and in, in, in this video, if you've watched it, I've asked you to come up with things that aren't that flattering about yourself, like, so oh I'm, God. yeah, I got, I got, I got a uh, puffy eye, uh, okay? All right, so we have something embarrassing that people can see, and, and actually, you can see um, Andy, first thing he did when he came out was he mentioned his eye. <laughs> which is a perfect setup for this because he's a natural funny person. And what we funny people do is unlike normal people who go like, um, <laughs> you know, just what five I, things, what, what I, I what, what I, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really 32 years old. Um, we kind of lead with our defect and that's what this exercise is about. So we want to say, the defect, whatever it is about ourselves, this word after it, which is called a turn. So otherwise you're complaining. If you go, I'm fat, I can't seem to lose weight. I mean, it, that's complaining, but when we add the woohoo, I'm fat, woohoo, it's a turn. So we're going to all try that, okay? And that's the word for it. And then to um, do some contrary thinking, which is what stand up is, or comedy or trying to put comedy we want their advantages there's advantages to being fat. having a you know a, a swollen eye uh fat um so we want to put uh, the advantage to it okay uh the thing about this is you really have to start with something really real you can't just you know be an anorexic person and go you know i'm fat you know, it's not going to play. You'll look like you're making fun of it. So this is the formula here. There are advantages. And then you list three advantages. So you want to create a list of now, hopefully you've already done this because I'm going to get ready to call on you guys. You create a list of what people see when you walk out on stage. And um, is there anything striking that can see, you know, if, if you're a speaker or Toastmaster, you know, or you look through your stories, any parts you mention anything like, you know, negative, you're not that confident, anything like that. And then make a list of what you think maybe people are joking about behind your back. Like if you go, no, I can't think of anything, Judy, I'm perfect, then you might want to say, I'm in denial. <laughs> right? or, or get out of comedy. Get out of comedy. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So uh, uh, here's the formula and here's the pop quiz. So we're going to uh, put this on and let's just see. We have uh, our panelists. Who wants to volunteer for this? Um, and and you can do one or any part of it. All right. So, Jerome, let's start with you. And uh, you can see this here. I'm blank. Woohoo! So let me just go. All right. So, Jerome. Yes. What do we have here? 
but I admit it, I'm a slob. Woohoo! You know, there are, some, there are some advantages about being a slob. Whenever there's an earthquake, I go home and I check and see if everything's laying all over the floor. And if it is, nothing happened because that's the way my house always looks. <laughs> you know what I need? That's good. I need a laugh track. Because there's nothing worse than trying to have material going. And by the way, it's not what professional comics do. We go, we, 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 get, we get like a surface. We go, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I like right. what you're yeah. doing that. Uh -huh. So that is terrific. I thought, that was I thought it was really great. And I think one thing that's really great about it is that you kept to the formula. Do you have anything else for us? Any other advantages? Do you want to try and do the magic three? Yes. So you're a big slob, right? Is that yeah, what it is? You're a big yes. slob. There's advantages to being a big slob. Um, oh, how about like it's great for dating. Codependent women, <laughs> he needs me, <laughs> right? Or anything? Right. Else? Let's see, anything? So, save a lot of money on file cabinets. And... You save money on file cabinets. All right. That's great. Right. And, and right. when I when I enter the bookstore, they lead me right to the self help section without me <laughs> saying anything. <laughs> and then you go, and, and but if I could only find the book I bought. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. It's somewhere under that mess. Hey, that's terrific. Thank you, Jerome. Really, really excellent. That was fun. <laughs> that was great. Okay, so thanks for putting yourself out there. And that's part of comedy is like volunteering. So do we have anybody else? Um, anybody else? Anybody else? Everybody else is perfect, apparently. Oh, Michelle. All right. So uh, again, what we have is this formula. So Michelle, I guess you don't have a camera. Can we hear you? Say something. Oh, wait, wait. Now say something. You know? Yeah, I'm wrong. You have your camera turned on, but uh, do I? Nah, it's all right. I'll figure yeah. out how to turn it on, or my daughter will figure it out. <laughs> all right, okay. Just, there's some uh, button, but anyway, we can hear you. So uh, oh, there, let me know. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you're you're great looking. So go ahead. Not that Jerome wasn't great looking, but anyway. <laughs> all right. Pay no attention to the dogs barking. This. My dog's barking in the background is really um, a recording to make sure everybody knows how to handle distractions and comedy. Okay. Wait, is, that <laughs> that? Or is that her daughter? This is, oh, nice one. Nice one. All right, go ahead. What do we got? All right. I'm short. Woohoo! Hey, there's advantages to being short. I don't have to bend down to reach the floor, and the older you get, the more of an advantage that really becomes. Um, Bending down to reach the floor because you drop things? Yeah, like if I drop something. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Any other advantages? It's good. Any other advantages? Oh, I'm so close to the floor. I find money all the time. Ah, and I like that. Like, you, know, you know, worse and worse, the closer you are to the floor. <laughs> and if I fall, I probably won't even break my hip. <laughs> I, I like that, but you know what? You're a little too young to be doing breaking hip jokes. <laughs> yeah, sorry to tell you the bad news, but if I leave that to um, Andy and myself, okay? We're going to steal your bad hip joke. Yeah, yeah. I broke mine on the way in. All right, well, I have one more then. Maybe I can okay. use this one. Um, I have a larger selection of potential mates compared to a tall person. I don't know. It might be too long uh, of a sentence. Yeah, but... this little thing. What do you think about that, Andy? Potential what? Potential I mates. Because, oh, like, if I was really tall, I'd only have, like, the option of guys that are taller or the ones that are willing to date a taller girl. Well, we can't tell, but how short are you? Five feet. Five feet. Okay. So, why don't you go and put, you know, in the advantage of being short, I will make the most insecure short man feel like a giant, right? <laughs> date me. Like, I'm easy to date, right? Okay. Um, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else want to try? We'll move on to the next exercise. Ready? Going, going, Tina. So, uh, Tina, let's see what we got here for this exercise. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear you really well. Okay, oh, go okay. Ahead. good. Oh, first time I'm using my video on here. So I Yay! Right. Welcome, yeah. welcome to... Uh, All right, thank you. So, I'm yeah. taking a stab at this. Yeah. Hey, I know someone who could use your file cabinet in the back behind you. <laughs> By the way, that's an important comedy technique, Cole. Callback. Yeah, tell me about the callback. This well, is really good, everybody. And your Toastmasters, oh. so powerful, so easy to get a laugh. So, um, 
Go ahead. Tell them about callback. Well, we were talking about uh, the uh, file cabinet with um, Jerome, Jerome earlier that, uh, you know, I'd say, well, he saves money on file cabinets because everything's on the floor. So that was perfect. Uh, now we saw a file cabinet for you, and Judy said, oh, I know somebody could use it. So it's a callback because we'd already mentioned it earlier. Okay. We'd gotten a huge lap off of it earlier, so <laughs> we get a secondary lap now. Yeah, so it's always good okay. for your lap to, like, pay attention because when comics come into a comedy club, we're always, like, looking around, listening to an act, and looking yeah. for something we can call back. Okay. Okay. So go to it. Go All to right. it. Well, it. I'm at least 30 pounds overweight. Woohoo! I can sit on a bad guy and keep him down if he's trying to rob the store. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm in the pool, I won't fall through the hole in the plastic fo uh, floating donut. <laughs> and nobody will ever call me a skinny bitch. <laughs> And then I think you have to go like this afterwards. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> Up, snap. I was really reaching on those. What do you think? I think they're no, awesome. Good. I yeah. think they're awesome. Just one thing is you left, and, 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 and this is um, important to do that. Hey, there are advantages to being. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we find in comedy, like, you had really the funny part down. So just stick to the formula okay. um, that there are advantages and I think I think that'll go well. Okay, so I think those will work. That's really good. Um, um, I would just change one little thing because um, okay. I'm a big thing on act outs. This is where instead of saying nobody will ever call me a skinny bitch, why don't you do an act out of someone calling you a skinny bitch? Try that. So so no one will ever say so, and then take assume a character of someone calling you a skinny bitch. Right? So, like, assume a character. So nobody will ever say, and then you go. Yeah, that one, that one I don't think I can. Nobody will ever. Did we just repeat <laughs> the same thing? No, no one will say, you know, get out of my way, you skinny bitch. <laughs> oh, okay, I could do that. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Okay. Yeah, you want to try the act out or say something different or? Uh, no, I think I'll pass on that one. Oh, okay. Well, I got to tell you, you're courageous enough. Just, just putting up your virtual hand, and congratulations on working your video camera. Oh. <laughs> Where are you living? It's a really nice house. Oh, thanks. Where are you living? Oh, in Illinois. Illinois. Okay. Illinois. Yeah, you were just out here at the. Right. Well, right. Well, just nice, nice, nice work, you skinny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, ready to move on to yeah. the next one? I like having you here. All right. Hey, I live down the street. I know. He lives Anytime. down the street. He's walking his dog. And I said, come on in. <laughs> I have a little comedy thing. It's so much more fun having someone with me. All right. So let's go on to the next thing. Uh, the next formula is, uh, oh, I don't know what this is. Well, here's, here's, here's this. What I have this here handy is a way you can practice in life. Because civilians um, are not funny, and civilians all go, hello, how are you? And they go, fine, how are you? And just, you know, I think, I think it's kind of scary just to save comedy for the stage. So I think it would be really fun to use this, hello, how are you? You know, uh, love handles, bad hair day, uh, <laughs> you know. How am I? Look, I got this. I got wings. What? What? <laughs> you know, I mean, just to try it to uh, lighten up people's day, uh, do it at work. You're talking about being honest. You mean like really how you are. Yeah, because everybody <laughs> lies. And I think that's why people come to a comedy club to see comedy. They, yeah. they want to see like the truth. Well, yeah, I think uh, what's funny is when people say things that we're all thinking, but we're afraid to say out loud. Yeah, that's I think the definition of comedy. Yeah. You know, Andy, I like you here. This is going better than I thought it would. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. Okay. And it, and it really helps that you're all participating. Okay, I'm insecure. I've got a pimple at the end of my nose. Um, all right, so let's go into this next one. Uh, you might not know this, and we'll see if any of you have done this. Um, this is where we play with words. You might not know this, but blank is actually a um, Sanskrit Latin word that means, and you enter the frustration. So um, let's see. 
you may not know this, but blank, this is uh, Robin Williams did it. I had, I had him on video going, uh, you may not know this, but divorce is actually a Latin word, which means having your genitals torn out through your wallet. Wow. <laughs> that was wrong. <Robin. laughs> but I'm just showing my, you I know, did you work with Robin? I worked with Robin many times, yes. He was a member of Off the Wall. So here we have. a year and a half. It, huh. it, it kind of reminds me of his joke about uh, the cocaine is just God's way of saying right. you have too much money. Yeah, cocaine is, yeah, so if you did that in the formula, it would be like. a similar formula. Yeah, yeah, cocaine is actually a Sanskrit word, meaning you have way too much money. Yeah. So, uh, you know, everybody thinks Robin, uh, and he was a brilliant improviser. Oh, yeah. But when he did his, uh, I did an HBO special with him, and we rehearsed, and he went, all right, I'm going to walk over here and do my Shakespeare thing. I'm going to go walk over here. And so it, he planned things out, and he said it always the same way. I mean, when did he's he really? doing stand-up. Yep. Oh, wow. Absolutely. All right, so uh, let's go back to this. And so we have Robin. So we, I asked you, you know, if you're going to speak or anything, uh, make a, um, a list of industry terms the group you're speaking to. Write the annoyance or frustration. And, you know, you may not know this, those blanks is actually a such and such word meaning. I, I did that when I was uh, speaking to entrepreneurs. And I went, um, uh, entrepreneurs, that's actually a French word meaning I work in my underwear. I'm working all the freaking time. <laughs> And then you can riff on about it. You know, I'm driving my kids to school going like, like, yes, I'm a professional realtor. Can you kids shut up? I am a professional. Anyway, so uh, who wants to share what they have here? Anything? Uh, what, do we, what, what do we got? This is the formula. Blank. You may not know this, but blank is actually a Latin word meaning Jerome. I love it. He's like, Mr. I am going first all the time. That is fantastic. Jerome is actually a French word meaning, I'm not scared to go first. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, when I, I'm in, in quote unquote real life, I'm a project manager. So I wanted to think oh, about my project. So. Yeah. I, 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 I spoke at their, um, their big convention. Those are techie people. You have a lot of words, <laughs> right? Right. So well, I'll just start off with one project. It, you know, project uh, is actually a Latin word pr from the Latin word projectus, which means making your boss's dreams come true while you get the nightmares. <laughs> there you go. That's yeah. good. I would exaggerate the frustration <laughs> while you get the, while you, uh, I, can you try and act out? Making your yeah. boss's dreams come true by hitting the deadlines while there you're going go. like, where's <laughs> my... Xanax. <laughs> you know, because um, I think I think I think the the more frustration. Can you try the act down? Just do it. Yeah, act yeah. So try it again, but let's hear it with the act down. See if okay. it's better. Okay, go ahead. You know, the word project actually comes from a Latin word projectus, which means making your boss's dreams come true while you're getting nightmares. What? No, don't say work while while you're going. While, while you're, you're going. going and now go, be really oh, accurate okay, while you're got it. going. Just say okay. why you're going. Okay. So your, your, your boss is, you're making a dream boss's dream come true while you're going, ah! <laughs> yeah, but always put words to an actor. Okay. Say, just repeat what I said. Just repeat what I said, but really aggravated. Where's my Xanax? Try it. While you're going. While you're going, where's my Xanax? <laughs> okay. Warrior. You see how that's funny? Because the word yeah. um, um, nightmare, um, rather than saying nightmare, act it out. Sure. With, with, yeah. Like, get into the scene and you're going and do that. Yeah. Show us, don't tell us. Hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, I can see. Because you're experiencing it rather yeah. than just describing it. Plus, you have the funny visual. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I have two drink, my two drink minimum while I'm, I'm watching you guys. <laughs> totally awesome. Okay. Thanks. Does anybody else? I, you guys are really good. Oh, you got one? Yes. Go we ahead. A webinar. <laughs> webinar is the uh, actually the Yiddish word for I don't have my own studio. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. 
I don't have a, there's actually a word for, I can buy a brick wall on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're cracking ourselves up. Um, um, <laughs> don't, don't hurt my screen. All right. Um, all right. Let's move on. I think. I think you got. Anybody else want to try this, or we'll move on to the next one? Um, remember, I've got to. I've got. I'm going to go out and see Carl Reiner and his daughter Annie. So, anybody else want to try this? Will uh, Stella be here? I think she died. Oh, did she, she die? Yeah, I think oh, his, his wife. She, was it? Because she used yeah. to sing there all the time. Yeah, I know. I think yeah. she died. Yeah, yeah. That's great to bring up in the okay, comedy. Nice comedy stuff. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Um, <laughs> you. Um, I, next time we do this, by the way, I will have sound effects. It's like, okay. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I'm gonna. I tried to download some, but uh, I don't know. I try, uh, comedy so sound it's effects, it's but they're kind of ri rifle shots or something. I don't know. It's like uh, bad. Anyway, um, all right. Go. <laughs> Silent ADD squirrel. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go to the next one, people. Um, the next one is um, no, it's not that. Here it is. All right, so we did that. Now, video three, oh, this is kind of similar. I thought I'd start the first three off kind of easy. Acronym, uh, common for CPA actually stands for. So um, this is where you, you know, again, I think Jerome's gonna have something because uh, you're, you're in PMI, Jerome, I think, right? So uh, uh, I'm sure you're gonna have something for this. Um, um, it, and, and what you do is you, you link it to frustration people have with the acronym. So you might not know this, but you put in your acronym in there. Um, CPA stands for constantly punched in the abs, you know, and, and because people in the audience are in that industry. Are you doing email now? What are you no. Doing? What are you doing? I'm getting some sound effects. Oh, yeah, so I got this, but it's not working. Anyway. So uh, that's what we're gonna have a practice round. So here's a practice round, ready, everybody? You may not know this, but KFC actually stands for, and do we have any takers on this? Any takers on this? Going, going, and no taker. Ah, Tina, awesome. All right, so uh, Tina's going to give this, give this a whirl, okay. All right, Tina, so wait, wait a second, what do we have here? You may not know this, but KFC actually stands for? All right, you may not know this, but KFC actually stands for Kiss My Friendly Cat. <laughs> Kiss My Friendly Cat. You're saying like that's what's in the chicken, right? <laughs> hey, stay here. Stay here. Let's try. Let's 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 try another one. Okay, stay here. Okay, let's see. AOL stands for. Do you have one? Do you have one on that, Tina? AOL actually stands for. Do you got anything for that? AOL. AOL actually stands for. Uh, always online. Ah, that's good. Is there yeah. another thing except yeah. it's never online? No. Always on. Uh, always on uh, 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 always old logistics. Oh yeah, that's good. Always oh, always <laughs> old logistics. That's good. I like that. Anybody else have uh, one for this? Anybody? All right, all right. Uh, Tina, we're just gonna keep keep you on up here, um, mm -hmm. and let's see what the next one is. All right, um, MBA. MBA actually stands for um, uh, Joy. Okay. Oh, Joy. I think I think Joy actually has an MBA. So uh, let's see. All right. All right. Okay. Joy. Uh, one sec. What do you, uh, Joy? Hold it. Wait. What do you got there? MBA actually stands for My Big Ass. <laughs> That was so close to what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is my bad attitude. Yeah. <laughs> I went to business school and I just got a my, my 
Bad, and actually, bad, bad. I, I got a really lot out of business school. That's actually where I got my MBA. My bad attitude. Exactly. By the way, KFC actually stands for kissing fat cheeks or fat chicks, if you want oh, to go there. What about, what about KFC actually stands, stands for, for kissing fat chicks. I like killing, the fat chicks. Killing, uh, uh, killing with fat cholesterol. There you go. Cholesterol, you cholesterol. All right, everybody else stay up here. Let's see if we, do you have anything to ask for that one? No? Who, me? No. I'm, no. Oh, I was going to say my burned out ass. <laughs> burned out. Burned out my ass. Burned I, that's out. even better. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. My bank account. <laughs> <laughs> my bank account yeah. bombs. My, <laughs> Uh, my, my bank's attrition. Oh, B. Oh, it starts with A, right? A, my, attrition. My bank. Yeah. Attrition. Attrition. <laughs> All right, good. We're trying, aren't we? See, this is what it's. This is what we talked yeah, about in the yeah, beginning. Right it's like, like throw a lot of stuff against the wall and see what, see what sticks. Okay. All right. So we did any of that? Does anybody want to try? Hey, Jerome, did you want to try something with project managers? Do you want to do anything with project managers? Jerome, no, he doesn't want to. No. All right. Let's, let's, uh, oh, Jerome, you're going to do it. Okay, fantastic. So, uh, <clears throat> all right. Just give me one second. There. There you go. You know, our organization is PMI, which stands for Promotes Metal Instability. You know. <laughs> wait, wait a second. That's really good. That's really good. So give give that one more time. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, but do it like you're delivering it, and because this okay. gives us another thing about how to set up a joke, and you want to set up. Yeah, everybody here is with uh, in PMI, and we all know what that stands. PMI stands yeah. for. And then what I want you to do is kind of like shout the last letters. So very seriously, and then shout the last letters. So go ahead. Okay. So. Well, here we are at the here we are at the chapter dinner meeting. I know you're all here for the PMI meeting, and as you know, PMI helps us run projects, and that's why it stands for Pro Pro promotes mental instability. <laughs> good, good. I like that you get crazy on that, Andy. I mean, Jerome, that's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, all right, fantastic. Well done, my friend. Well done. I'm glad you participated. Uh, all right, is that is that it for everybody? Well, we have one more, um, one more, one more. Um, and by the way, on this here is like, uh, you know, really the, the secret to these formulas is to figure out where can you drop them in. So in this course, you're learning 12 formulas and you want to know when to drop it in. Hey, by the way, everybody, the next one, um, um, please work four, five, and six uh, exercises. Uh, you guys are really great, and um, we won't have a big audience for that because I'm inviting a lot of people to uh, come to that webinar who aren't in the workshop, but you guys are going to be the ones to like try things out. So I think we're going to also then take the people who are watching and ask them to write, you know, to write jokes for you guys. Like, so yeah. if you don't do it well, at least you're going to have like, you know, a couple hundred people writing for you. So I think that'll be fun. All right. Here's the very last one. Then we'll call it a night. The reluctant admission formula. Um, this one is, uh, I realized I was actually inadvertently doing this all the time. This is where you lie. You do a lie and you say the lie uh, very loudly. And then you have an admission where you go, well, I wasn't really, you know, didn't run a really five, big 5K. Then you admit the truth, and then very loudly you go, anyway. So I'll show you what it looks like. Um, by the way, for you guys who are in Toastmasters, because we're in Chicago, this is, you can use this for the tall story. So whenever you exaggerate to make it funny, you make a big statement to truth, and then minutes lie. So you can come on and say, you know, by the way, everybody knows, I was a world champion Toastmaster. And then the, the, the uh, here, here it is. Uh, 
I was a world champion Toastmaster. Well, actually, maybe not a world Toastmaster. Well, actually, just this morning, I ate some toast. Anyway, so the the idea is that I, I you was can gonna say it for number two. It, actually, I can't even make toast. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, um, the idea is to use, like, try and use the same word in all of it. So this works just all the time. Well, not 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 just exactly all the time. Well, it 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 worked on Monday. A couple years ago anyway <laughs> so so if you can see it's an acting thing when we do this I love doing this well it's not like I love doing it well actually <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this anyway <laughs> I mean, it's just like yeah. I know yeah that's a good one yeah isn't it yeah yeah it's really a fun <laughs> well it's not actually a good one okay. well <laughs> it's an okay it's, uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> It's just, all right, we're cracking each other up. All right, so, all right, so here the we have one. got one, I can tell. All right, I know, I know. Uh, this morning, I just ran a 5K race. Well, <laughs> it actually wasn't a full 5K. Well, actually, I just ate five bowls of special K. So <laughs> anyway, but somehow this doesn't work unless you use the word anyway, anyway. <laughs> at the end of it. It's just like a nice, you know, cap on it. All right. So, uh, you guys got this? Say something, hesitate, like, and that's not the funny part. And then the last one is like, <laughs> like how far from the truth it is. And then you say, anyway. Okay, so who wants to, who wants to give this a go? Anybody, Jerome, did you want to? Because you're already on the screen here. Sure, okay. Go ahead. Um. You know, I when I was in college, I graduated at the top of my class. I was uh, summa, cum, uh, summa cum laude. Well, actually, it was summa cum lousy, but anyway. Okay. Okay, I missed the second one. I, you know, when I graduated, I was... I was summa cum laude. I was, I was summa cum laude. Uh, well, actually, actually, I was summa cum lousy. But no, uh, anyway. well, you're missing the second three. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. I was summa cum laude. Well, not exactly yeah, summa cum laude. Actually, summa cum laude. But summa cum laude. Anyway, yeah. so you need all of that kind of setup. But the joke was really funny. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's just go through everybody's our last one. Might as well get everybody on up here. Okay. So I'm uh, getting everybody here. All right. So. Uh, just put your real hand up. Joy, you got one? All right, so wait a second. Uh, all right, what, what do we got? Oh, wait, Can, do you know how, I, you're, you're muted. Do you know how to unmute yourself? Of course, but I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going to unmute yourself when you talk, because I'm tired of, <laughs> tired of muting and unmuting. It's a handy, it's a handy thing to be able to do. Yeah. Um, anyway. No, uh, what people don't realize is I'm actually a member of the royal family. We have our mm. own castle. Well, <laughs> not exactly have our own castle. I actually hang out in White Castle. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hey, everybody like this. Woo! It's really fun. Ah, that's 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 a good one. That's a good one. Love it. All right, Tina, you got one on this, Tina. Tina, do you have uh, Tina, you got one. Do you know how to unmute yourself? Tina, it's in the bottom corner on the left. Bottom corner on the left. Okay, got it. Okay, great. All right. So got it, got it. All right. So I just wrote this down to see if it's anywhere near. Okay. Right, so uh, this morning I exercised vigorously. I well, I kind of thought about exercising, and then I envisioned exercising, and anyway, I'll consider exercising tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. try the form. Let me guide you through. I exercise vigorously, period. Say the first one. Yesterday, I exercised. Go ahead. This morning, I exercised vigorously. Well, then just go, maybe not vigorously. Say that. Well, oh, okay. So maybe not vigorously, but I feel actually, exercising. Well, actually, 
All right. And actually, I just sort of envisioned exercising. No, and I'm anyway, I'll consider really exercising tomorrow. Okay. We have to use the word vigorously. So yesterday, I exercised vigorously. Well, maybe not vigorously. Actually, I just ate a meal with someone named vigorously. Anyway, so we want to get... Okay, okay. I can see that. Okay, yeah. I really need help with all of this. That's why I'm here. Well, you're doing awesome. Yeah. You know, I gotta tell you, 90% uh, of it is showing up and going, hey, I'm gonna try it, because that's, you're, you're totally awesome. That's, that's all it is. Okay, fantastic. Uh, okay, Michelle, you got something? I don't. I'm eating, actually. I'm multitasking. Okay, well, just do it. I'm, I'm actually multitasking. I'm just stuck in my face. Anyway. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Give it a go. Just let's improvise. Um, no, I don't. Well, I have this. No, I don't know. <laughs> See, I'm eating a fabulous meal. Just say that. Okay. I'm eating a fabulous meal. Well, maybe not. Go ahead. Well, maybe it's not. Not that fabulous. Well, actually. But I'm but actually, I'm on this fabulous meeting with Judy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's good. That's fine. That's, that's really well done. Okay. Uh, okay. And then uh, Tina? <laughs> oh. oh, I did you already. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did me already. I all think right. one is all I have in my Oh, here. awesome, Angie. It's awesome. It's awesome, Angie. Okay, so awesome, Angie. Uh, wait, I, uh, okay, there we go. I got you. All right, you got one? No, but you can help walk me through them with my name. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, I'm, my name is... My name is Awesome Angie. Well, <laughs> then, then do a comment. Well, maybe I'm not totally... Well, maybe I'm not totally awesome. <laughs> Well, actually, well, actually, my dog is pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. That's it. You did it. Yay. Uh, let's see. Was that everybody? That was Tina, awesome Angie, who has an awesome dog. Uh, <laughs> Michelle, we did you, right? Did we do you, Michelle? Yeah, we did. And Tina, did we do you? Yes. We did everybody? Oh, yeah. I hate saying like we did everybody, but uh, we did it. <laughs> we did, and everybody. Our next one is on July fourteenth, and um, and you guys are great. I'm gonna put this uh, video online. Okay, hey, it was fun hanging out with and, all you guys. And say what your book is again. Oh, my book is called Improv Comedy. You can order it uh, on Amazon by Andy Goldberg. And it's it's really the best book ever on comedy. Well, maybe not the, not best, the best book, book on it's comedy. Uh, well, actually, it is a book. It's the only. It's book. a book. <laughs> you can find it on Amazon. Anyway. anyway, that's a nice end. It was great, great meeting you all again. Um, have a good time in Chicago, and we'll see you again July fourteenth. I think we're doing five, six, seven, eight. Are you a dancer? Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.